Hey everyone, in this video we will try to explain abstraction in Java to you. Now what exactly is abstraction? Abstraction is the method of hiding certain details and showing only essential features of an object to the user. Now what this means is that abstraction lets you focus on what an object does and not how it does what it does. For example, you have this little ATM here. We all know how ATMs work. You put in your card, you type in your PIN, you get your money. But how this whole process works inside the ATM is something we don't really know. Or while sending and receiving emails, where you type out your message, you send and you receive mails. But uh, we don't know how this whole process works inside the computer. Now here you have a code snippet showing you how abstraction is implemented in a program and this program calculates the simple interest. You have a function called interest here uh, which takes in the parameters p, principal, n, number of years and r rate of interest. It multiplies them and divides them by 100 uh, to calculate the value of your interest and it returns that value. But all you see in the main program is a function call along with the parameters the values of the parameters that are passed. There are two ways to implement abstraction in Java, one being abstract classes and the other being interfaces. Abstract classes 0 to 100 uh, percent. What the 0 to 100 percent is, I, I'll tell you what it means really shortly. So all abstract classes have characteristics. Um, all abstract classes use the keyword abstract Abstract classes can contain non-abstract methods as well as abstract methods but if a normal class has at least one abstract method it must be declared as abstract. Abstract classes cannot be instantiated which means that uh, you can't create an object for an abstract class. Um, to use an abstract class you have to inherit it from another class using the extends keyword. You have to provide implementation to the abstract methods you declared in the abstract class. Now going back to our simple interest example, if you declare your interest function as an abstract method in your abstract class, then you have to give the details of how the function is to be implemented in your subclass, uh, the class which, in, uh, which extends the abstract class. Okay. So uh, interfaces, 100%. Again, this 100% stands for the level of abstraction and I'll tell you what it means really shortly. So interfaces have characteristics too obviously. Um, interfaces uh, contains the behavior that a class implements uh, along with the abstract methods an interface can also contain constants, default methods, static methods and nested types. But method bodies can exist only for default and static methods and you can't have method bodies for methods you yourself declare. Um, you cannot instantiate an interface which means that you can't create an object for it and uh, this also shows you why the uh, interface provides 100% abstraction. Um, interfaces cannot have non-abstract methods. On the other hand, abstractions, abstraction can have uh, abstract as well as non-abstract methods. So it offers 0 to 100% abstraction and interfaces offer 100% abstraction. So Interfaces cannot contain fields. Fields are uh, uh, a Java field is a variable inside a class. Um, it can uh, it can only have fields that are static and final, whose values cannot be changed. Now, a class can extend only one abstract class, but a class can implement various interfaces. Okay. Now let's look at an example that implements abstract classes. So I'm going to start by creating an abstract class. So I'm going to type out abstract class base. Um, I notice that I use the abstract keyword here. Now inside the body of my abstract class, I'm going to declare two integer variables x and y. X, y. I'm also going to declare a method show. So void show and then this is going to display x and y on the screen so inside the body of show system dot out dot print line x system 
dot out dot printline y. Notice that this is a non-abstract method. I'm also going to create an abstract method called display. So abstract void display. So uh, this is my abstract class. Okay. So now I'm going to create a subclass child which extends the abstract class. So I'm going to type out class child extend base. So inside this class I'm going to have a method called void set which takes in the integer values of x and y and assigns them to x and y. So you use the this uh, keyword to differentiate between the x and y in the parameters and the x and y in the abstract base class. So this of x equals x this of y equals y and I'm also going to print out the values of x and y on the screen so system dot out dot print line x system out print line y now I'm going to give the implementation for the display function which is my abstract method in the abstract class in this class so void display system dot out dot print line revoke now for the main function so public static void main string args I'm going to create an object for my child class which extends the abstract class so child c1 equals new child c1 set and then I'm going to give the values for my x and y here which will be passed as my parameters to void set so 10 20 and then I'm going to show them on the screen so c1 show and c1 dot display which is my abstract method Now when we compile and run this program, we can see that the values 10 and 20 are uh, set in the set method to x and y. So x gets the value 10, y gets the value 20. The show function prints out x and y on the screen. So that's why you have an x and y there. And then your display function is, uh, your display method is called and that's why revoke is printed on the screen. Okay, now let's look at a simple example for interfaces. As you know, all interfaces use the interface keyword. So first, I'm going to create a, an interface called my interface using the interface keyword. So I type in interface, my interface. And inside the body of my interface, I'm going to declare two methods, method one and method two. These methods don't have bodies. As we know from the characteristics of interfaces that methods declared inside an interface cannot have a body. Now um, I'm going to create a class called XYC which implements my interface. So class XYC implements my interface. And inside the body of the class I'm going to give the implementation for my two methods. So public void method 1 and inside the body of my method I'm going to print implementation of method 1. So system dot out dot print line implementation of method 1. And inside the body of my method 2, I'm going to print out implementation of method 2.
Now inside my main function, public, static, void, main, string, args, I'm going to create an object, an interface object. So interface, my interface object equals new xyz for the class xyz. Using this object obj, I'm going to call my method 1. So object method 1. Now when you compile and run this program, you see that implementation of method 1 is printed on the screen because your method 1 is called using your object. Thank you.